briefly, let's, let's talk about SEO. Uh, Aaron's already gone over most of the details of it, uh, but it is, a, again, another area-based policy. Uh, it's endorsement to uh, the yield protection and revenue protection, uh, and the revenue protection of harvest price exclusion. And it's going to, uh, it's, it's again available in select counties, but it's going to, uh, uh, when you purchase it, and it must be purchased with the underlying policy. So you can't have it stand alone, you've got to buy it, and this again, if you're doing it for cotton, uh, you've got to buy it uh, uh, with the underlying policy. Uh, the liability of the maximum payout is expected, is based on the expected crop value for the individual grower. So this is, this is a little different than stacks. Stacks, the payout was based strictly on the county, on how the county did, uh, and the county values. This, uh, the payout will be based on what the li maximum, uh, what the liability is for the growth. But it, it'll, whether it's paid out or not depends on how the county does. Okay, generally, again, it's similar. It's got a uh, third layer that for individual policy. It's because it's based on when the county uh, data comes available. Premium is not quite as high, 65% premium subsidy. And it's going to follow the online policy that you have. So, whereas stacks are strictly revenue based, SEO is going to be, it can be either yield based or it can be revenue based. It depends on what you take out as the online policy. Uh, again, it's got the separate premium and administrative fees. Um, again, it's separate insurance offered by irrigation practice where it's actually really sound. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see if that's going to happen in Tennessee. You know, when then maybe that'll happen in Tennessee. I think we'll eventually get that, but I'm not sure about this first year. All right. The amount of the coverage, again, the amount of the uh, SEO coverage depends on the liability coverage level, the approved yield of the underlying policy. Uh, and then the payment is going to be based on whether the yield or revenue for an area falls below the expected level. So that's kind of the trigger is the expected, uh, it's going to fall below the expected level. It does have a, uh, a little bit lower trigger and it's got a set trigger of 86%. Uh, so the maximum payout is, the, is, the, uh, is, is depends on whether the final area revenue or county revenue is less than or equal to the coverage level, which will say 86% of the expected area revenue. So that's kind of what the, uh, the trigger. Now this is a little different if we look at this as like we did those other sheets I looked at. Uh, if you've got a 80% coverage uh, underlying policy, uh, uh, this is going to cover up to 80%, and then SEO will go from 80% uh, to 86% if that's underlying. Same thing if you've got 60% policy. Uh, if you've got a 60%, your underlying policy is going to come up to here. And then SCO will cover from 60 to 86 percent. The U.S. producer got that, that up from 86 on to 100. Now, something I think is interesting, the reason I didn't put this up here is because you could take out a cap policy and then have SCO policy. Now, the cap policy, if it's a strict cap policy, it'd be a yield plan policy. So you might want to take a buy, first buy level buy up to say 55 percent or something to get the revenue part of it. But you could take the cap or first buy up on, on cap. And then have SCO cover the rest of it. Uh, you know, that's, that's something we might have to think about. Don't know what the SCO costs are going to be. And I think that'll be probably an underlying factor on, on some of this. In this example, and we're getting close to the end, uh, we've got the same, uh, it's essentially the same example. 900 pound farm average, expected county yield is 850, expected price is 7 two cents a pound. This area loss trigger though is 86%. Expected crop value is 900 pounds, so 72 cents, so that's $648. So our uh, underlying uh, liability is uh, is also, well, it's fair, it doesn't really come into play here, but I figured it in here. 900 pounds, so 72 cents, so that's 70%, that's four, about $454 of so underlying liability, for the underlying cost. The coverage range is 16%, so if I had a 70% uh, revenue protection policy, uh, that's, that's where the 16% comes in, 86 minus 70. Uh, our coverage range of SEO is the area loss trigger minus the coverage level, that's where that comes from. Our supplemental protection 
is our crop value. This is where we differ from stacks because we're taking the actual grower's crop value times the covered range. So we got that 648 times 16 percent. So we have a uh, protection value that we're protecting of $103.68. So if, as in the stacks example, this product drops 65 cents a pound. Our farm yield comes in at 750. The county average is 700. With some similar type of calculations, our area performance is going to be 74.35%. Our payment factor is going to be uh, 0 .7, 0 0.7281. That's where we take the 0.86 minus the uh, area performance. So that's our trigger minus area performance divided by the range, which we calculated up here, a 0.16. Again, this is limited to one. Uh, so our indemnity payment with SEO with a 70% RP revenue uh, uh, protection is going to be 0 0.7281 times 103.68. That's going to equal 75.49 an acre. And as a comparison, the stacks was 1.10.93. Okay, the wheat had a companion policy of 85%. What would that have done? Well, we would have had indemnity payment. For the 85% of 6360, and the SEO would have paid about six dollars and forty-eight cents. Because if we have 85% uh, coverage on online policy, we just got one percent on the SEO, so it doesn't pay much. So it gives you a total of seventy dollars roughly. Stacks pays roughly a hundred dollars in that example. Well, the, well, the price went to eighty cents. The SEO indemnity would have been twenty-six twenty-eight. Uh, Stacks would pay. Uh, 58.75, and there's still no payment with that 70% companion policy. We had an 85% policy. Uh, we had an indemnity policy uh, payment of $12 uh, uh, with our RP policy. Stack uh, SEO payment would have been 720. They gave us a total of 1920. Stacks were paid about 52.8. So in my example, here, your stacks are paying you know, a little bit of payment uh, in this example, but it's going to vary between uh, your situation.